Good morning, and welcome to this, the celebration of the Holy Mass for Christmas Day. I'm Monsignor Michael Champ, pastor and bishop of the Old Catholic Church of Antioch in Tucson. Welcome. Our opening hymn today, O Come All Ye Faithful. O come, all ye faithful, joyful and triumphant, O come ye, O come ye to Bethlehem. Come and behold him, born the King of angels. O come, let us adore him, O come, let us adore him, O come, let us adore him, Christ the Lord. Sing, choirs of angels, sing in exaltation, sing, all ye citizens of heaven above. Glory to God, glory in the highest. O oh, come, let us adore him. O oh, come, let us adore him. O oh, come, let us adore him, Christ the Lord. Yea, Lord, we greet thee. Born this happy morning, Jesus, to thee be our glory given. Word of the Father, now in flesh appearing, O oh, come, let us adore him, O oh, come, let us adore him, O oh, come, let us adore him, Christ the Lord. Our entrance antiphon this morning comes to us from Isaiah. A child is born for us, a son given to us. Dominion is laid upon his shoulder, and he shall be called Wonderful Counselor. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Let us begin, as we always do, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the Lord bless you and keep you in the fellowship of our Lord Jesus Christ and of the Holy Spirit. In order to celebrate our sacred mystery today, let us call to mind our sins. Lord Jesus, you came to gather all nations into the peace of God's kingdom. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you came in word and sacrament to strengthen us in holiness. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you will come in glory with salvation for your people. Lord, have mercy. In Adam's sin, the gates of heaven were closed. We were made one with God and heirs to the kingdom of heaven in our baptism. We are thankful for our redemption. May Almighty God forgive you your sins in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, Heavenly King, Almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us now begin the Liturgy of the Word. We pray today in the joy of Christmas because the Son of God lives among us. God of love, Father of all, the darkness that covered the earth has given way to the bright dawn of your word made flesh. Make us a people of this light. Make us faithful to your word that we may bring your life to the waiting world. Grant this through Christ our Lord. Amen. In our first reading today, we read from the Old Testament book of Isaiah. God leads his people back from exile in Babylon to Zion. 
This is the site of the Jerusalem temple, from whose ruined walls sentinels shout for joy. The church reapplies this passage to the Christmas event. Listen now to the words of Isaiah. How beautiful upon the mountains are the feet of him who brings glad tidings, announcing peace, bearing good news, announcing salvation, and saying to Zion, Your God is king. Hark, your sentinels raise a cry. Together they shout for joy. They see directly before their eyes the Lord restoring Zion. Break out together in song, O ruins of Jerusalem. The Lord has bared his holy arm in the sight of all the nations. All the ends of the earth will behold the salvation of our God. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our responsorial psalm from Psalm 24. All the ends of the earth have seen the saving power of God. Join me. All the ends of the earth have seen the saving power of God. Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done wondrous deeds. His right hand has won victory for him, his holy arm. All the ends of the earth have seen the saving power of God. The Lord has made his salvation known. In the sight of the nations, he has revealed his justice. He has remembered his kindness and his faithfulness toward the house of Israel. All the ends of the earth have seen the saving power of God. All the ends of the earth have seen the saving power of God. Sing joyfully to the Lord, all you lands. Sing joyfully to the Lord, all you lands. Break into song, sing praise. All the ends of the earth have seen the saving power of God. In our second reading from the New Testament book of Hebrews, we are shown that God has spoken to us through his Son, his Word made flesh. While we Christians can find God in his creation, daily life and any religious statement through which he speaks in partial and various ways, we also possess the very imprint of the Father's being. His Word made flesh, the Lord Jesus Christ, has been given to us in Bethlehem of Judah. Listen now to these words from Hebrews. Brothers and sisters, in times past, God spoke in partial and various ways to our ancestors through the prophets. In these last days, he has spoken to us through the Son, whom he made heir of all things and through whom he created the universe, who is the refulgence of his glory, the very imprint of his being. He who sustains all things by his mighty word, when he had accomplished purification from sins, took his seat at the right hand of the majesty on high. As far superior to the angels as the name he has inherited is more excellent than theirs, he reigns. <clears throat> For to which of the angels did God ever say, You are my son, this day I have begotten you, or I will be a father to him and he shall be a son to me. And again, when he leads the firstborn into the world, he says that all the angels of God worship him. This too is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Well, let us prepare now for the reading of the gospel. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Join me. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. A holy day has dawned upon us. Come, you nations, and adore the Lord. Today a great light has come upon the earth. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be in my heart and on my lips that I might worthily proclaim your holy gospel. The Lord be with you. A reading of the holy gospel according to John. Glory to you, Lord. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. 
All things came to be through him, and without him nothing came to be. What came to be through him was life, and this life was the light of the human race. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. A man named John was sent from God. His testimony was given to testify to the light, so that all might believe through him. He was not the light, but came to testify to it. The true light, which enlightens everyone, was coming into the world. He was in the world, and the world came to be through him, but the world did not know him. He came to what was his own, but his own people did not accept him. But to those who did accept him, he gave the power to become children of God. To those who believe in his name, who were born not by natural generation, nor by human choice, nor by a man's decision, but of God. And the word became flesh and made its dwelling among us, and we saw his glory, the glory of the Father's only Son, full of grace and truth. John testified to him and cried out, saying, This is he of whom I said, The one who is coming after me ranks ahead of me, because he existed before me. From his fullness we have all received grace in place of grace, because while the law was given through Moses, Grace and truth came through Jesus Christ. No one has ever seen God, the Holy Son. God, who is at the Father's side, has revealed him. This is the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. <clears throat> he came into the world and the world knew him not. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Each year we are taken back to the nativity of our blessed Lord. We are given the stories taken from John and from Luke to give us an understanding of what occurred on that morning when Jesus Christ came into the earth. Incarnated Son of God in human flesh. This is a mystery so profound that it has beguiled us for more than 2,000 years. It has stood the test of time. It has stood up to all those who would rail against it. It has become dogma for us as we Christians believe that the Messiah in the form of our blessed Lord Jesus Christ came to live with us on earth a man like us, with the purpose that we would be able to relate to God through him. God, of course, being beyond all human understanding, is not something that human beings can understand, can, can conceive of. We are left with our poor human understanding. We make proclamations about what God is, we say God is perfect, God is holy, God is beneficent, God is omnipotent, God is omniscient, all-knowing, all-being. And yet, we really don't have a concept of what that is, because it's beyond our human understanding. Jesus Christ, on the other hand, was a man like us. He was conceived like us, within the womb of a woman, his mother Mary, like us. He was made for us to understand the union of God with man on earth. This profound mystery has provided us with satisfaction and understanding that we too are conceived as God was conceived in Jesus Christ, as an image of our Father on earth. It is up to us to live up to that image. And that's the difficulty of human life. Jesus Christ gave us his precepts, his two greatest commandments, which were to love God with all our heart, our mind, and our souls, and to love each other as we love ourselves. These two commandments sum up the whole of the law, all of the 613 laws of Moses, 
all of the Ten Commandments of the Decalogue that we have learned since our childhood are summed up in those two commandments. For who can love a neighbor if one would murder him, or one would steal from him, or one would covet his goods or his wife? Or who would love his neighbor if he would lie to him? This gives us an understanding of what the meaning of love truly is. To give of ourselves in whole perspective, just as Jesus Christ gave himself to all humanity for the expiation of our sins. God love you all, and may you have a blessed Christmas. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us join together now and profess our faith. We believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God begotten, not made, one in being with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation he came down from heaven. By the power of the Holy Spirit he was born of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered, died, and was buried. On the third day he rose again in fulfillment of the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and to the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father. With the Father and the Son he is worshipped and glorified. He has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sin, we look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us our spiritual bread, bread of life. Blessed be God forever. May the mystery of the mingling of this water and wine help us to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this wine to offer. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Lord God, we ask you to receive us and be pleased with the sacrifice that we offer you humble and contrite hearts. I will wash my hands among the innocent and encompass your altar, O Lord, that I might hear the voice of your praise and tell of all your wondrous works. I have loved, O Lord, the beauty of your house, the place where your glory dwells. Take not away my soul, O God, with the wicked, or my life with men of blood, and whose hands are iniquities and filled with gifts. But as for me, I have walked in my innocence. Redeem me and have mercy on me. In the churches I will bless you, O Lord. Lord, wash away my iniquities and cleanse me of my guilt. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, 
as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at our hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and that of all his church. Almighty God, the saving work of Jesus Christ made our peace with you. May our offering today renew that peace within us and give you perfect praise. We ask this in the name of Jesus the Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give him thanks and praise. Father, all-powerful and ever-living God, we do well always and everywhere to give you thanks through Jesus Christ our Lord. In the wonder of the Incarnation, your eternal word has brought to the eyes of faith a new and radiant vision of your glory. In him we see our God made visible. And so we are caught up in love of the God we cannot see. And so with all the choirs of angels in heaven, we proclaim your glory and join in their unending hymn of praise. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power, God of might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna in the highest. Father, we acknowledge your greatness. All your actions show your wisdom and love. You formed us in your own likeness and set us over the whole world to serve you, our creator, and rule over all creatures. Even when we disobeyed you and lost your friendship, you did not abandon us to the power of death, but helped us all to seek and find you. Again and again, you offered us a covenant and through the prophets taught us to hope for salvation. Father, you so loved the world that in the fullness of time, you sent your only son to be our savior. He was conceived through the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary, a man like us in all things but sin. To the poor he proclaimed the good news of salvation, to prisoners freedom, and to those in sorrow joy. In fulfillment of your will he gave himself up to death, but by rising from the dead he destroyed death and restored life. And that we might live no longer for ourselves but for him, he sent the Holy Spirit from you, Father, as his first gift to those who believe, to complete his work on earth and bring us the fullness of grace. May this Holy Spirit sanctify these offerings. Let them become the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ as we celebrate the great mystery which he left us as an everlasting covenant. He always loved those who were his own in this world, and when the time came for him to be glorified by his heavenly Father, he showed the depth of his love. While they were at supper, he took bread into his sacred hands, and looking up to his heavenly Father, he gave him thanks and praise. He broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and he did. This is my body, which will be given up for you. When supper was ended, he took the cup again. He gave his heavenly Father thanks and praise. He gave the cup to his disciples and said, Take this, all of you, and drink of it. This is the cup of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant. It will be shed for you and for all, so that sins may be forgiven. Do this in memory of me.
Let us proclaim the mystery of faith. Christ has died. Christ is risen. Christ will come again. Father, we now celebrate this memorial of our redemption. We recall Christ's death, his descent among the dead, his resurrection, and his ascension to your right hand. And looking forward to his coming in glory, we offer you his body and blood, the acceptable sacrifice which brings salvation to the whole world. Lord, look upon our sacrifice which we have given to your church, and by your Holy Spirit gather all who share this one bread and one cup into the one mystical body of Christ, a living sacrifice of praise. Lord, remember those for whom we offer this sacrifice, especially our religious leaders and patriarchs. Barent, our patriarch in Utrecht, Francis, Bishop of Rome, for me, your humble servant, and for bishops and clergy everywhere. Remember those who take part in this offering and all who seek you with a sincere heart. Remember those who have died in the peace of Christ and all the dead whose faith is known to you alone. Father, in your mercy, grant also to us, your children, to enter into our heavenly inheritance in the company of the Virgin Mary and your apostles and saints. Then in your kingdom, freed from the corruption of sin and death, we shall sing your glory with every creature through Christ our Lord, through whom you give us everything that is good. Through him, with him, in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. Amen. Let us ask our Father to forgive our sins, and bring us to forgive those who have sinned against us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil and grant us peace in our day. In your mercy, keep us free from sin and shelter from all needless anxiety as we wait in joyful hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Look not in our sins, but the faith of our church, and grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom, where you live forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be with us always. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. May the mingling of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring eternal life to those who receive it. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, by the will of the Father and the work of the Holy Spirit, your death brought life to the world. By your holy body and blood, free me from all my sins and every evil. Keep me faithful to your teaching. And never let me be parted from you. This is the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are those who are called to his supper. Lord, I'm not worthy to receive you, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Corpus Domini Nostri, Jesu Christi, custodiat anima meam, in vitam eternam, amen. Sanguis Domini Nostri, Jesu Christi, custodial anima meam, in vitam eternam, amen.
All the ends of the earth have seen the saving power of God. Let us pray. Father, the child born today is the Savior of the world. He made us your children. May he welcome us into your kingdom, where he lives and reigns with you forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. Bow your heads now and pray for God's blessing. When he came to us as a man, the Son of God scattered the darkness of this world and filled this holy day with his glory. May the God of infinite goodness scatter the darkness of sin and brighten our hearts with holiness. God sent his angels to shepherds to herald the great joy of our Savior's birth. May he fill you with joy and make you heralds of his gospel. When the word became flesh, Earth was joined to heaven. May he give you his peace and goodwill and fellowship with all the heavenly host. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Eucharistic celebration for this Christmas day has ended. Let us go forth to serve the Lord and one another. Thanks be to God.
our closing hymn, Joy to the World. Joy to the world, the Lord is come. Let earth receive her King. Let every heart proclaim, prepare him room. And heaven and nature sing, and heaven and nature sing, and heaven and heaven and nature sing. Joy to the world, the Savior reigns. Let men their songs employ. While fields and floods, rocks, hills, and plains repeat the sounding joy, repeat the sounding joy, repeat, repeat the sounding joy. He rules the world with truth and grace and makes the nations prove the glories of his righteousness and wonders of his love and wonders of his love and wonders wonders of his love god love you all and thank you for being with us on this christmas day